educate, if I will educate Eve travel in the forward motion with flag, just apply flag behind her in a round pen or in a, in a horse uh, in hand communication and connect with halter and rope. She will use she will only use surviving instinct to travel in forward motion, nothing else. She will not gonna understand travel in forward motion. She understand when I tap this flag, move away. So in my opinion, as a horseman, this education absolutely useful because useless. I'm sorry because when I gonna go on trail right, and if wind gonna blow and trees gonna move. She gonna afraid this because I teach her already afraid this flat or tarp gonna bounce in the ground. She gonna afraid because I teach her to move away from this loud movements. Hello guys, Ross Crutchin here and I continue to share with you if education. So today we're gonna start to I'm gonna start to share with you uh, confidence exercises with flag and how I develop explain you a little bit and share a little bit my philosophy and reason behind methods how this method will gonna help us in the future education or in real life when we uh, communicate communicate with horses so from the round pen uh, when we educate if, if you remember, we educate horse all consistent and consistently forward motion, and horse understand travel with body language, voice command, and energy. And after we apply flag in a round pen, and horse have to maintain exactly the same speed what they're asking her to travel, walk, trot, and lop, and we're using this flag. So horse truly have to understand loud sounds when it's happening around her, when she travel on the speed I desire from her, you cannot speed up you have to control your emotions. So that's very important. So imagine if I, my horse had understand travel and forward motion with body language, voice command and energy, and I apply right now flag, she's gonna start to fall apart. She's gonna use surviving instinct to run forward, mo run forward motion. So if I'm gonna apply the flag, because I'm gonna teach her right now to travel in forward motion, be consistent in your brain. When I apply the flag, Travel in the same speed. Don't change direction. Don't speed up. That's educate, control emotions in a forward motion. So when she travel, when I apply the flag, she have to continue travel on the same speed. No change direction. Not speed up. Continue travel. I'm gonna put my flag again back, and she have to travel because I put. I ask her to travel consistently around me. So it's mean consistently, it's mean when I ask you to travel, never stop. Continue traveling. Continue travel around me, beautiful work. So also, we teach horse, we teach horse in hand communication to travel consistently and consistent around us in the horsemanship halter, right? Continue walk. I increase my energy. Continue trot. Very good. Don't stop. Continue travel. Very good. Very good. Beautiful work. Continue travel around me. So now we're going to take education from the round pen and in hand communication and combine together and gonna start to develop confidence. So if I will educate, if I will educate Eve travel in the forward motion with flag, just apply flag behind her in a round pen or in a, in a horse, uh, in hand communication and connect with halter and rope, she will, use, she will only use surviving instinct to travel in forward motion, nothing else. She will not gonna understand travel in forward motion. She understand when I tap this flag, move away. So in my opinion, as a horseman, this education absolutely useful because useless, I'm sorry, because when I gonna go on trail right, and if wind gonna blow and trees gonna move, she gonna afraid this because I teach her already afraid this flag or tarp gonna bounce in the ground. She gonna afraid because I teach her to move away from this loud movements. That's just my philosophy, that's how I educate horses. So my goal when, 
final goal of this exercise, not so she's not afraid of flag. Final goal when I go in real life and it's going to be windy and rainy day, or my friend going to say hello and going to have umbrella in his, in his hand. Horse not going to dump me upside down my head and not going to run away. So that's a final goal. When I'm going to switch the reins, so horse not going to start to, young horse, horse not going to speed up and get upset. So let's start. So again, point. So horse have to understand when I point, it's mean travel forward motion, the walk. I explained before how important sound, your voice. So not don't mix clock, faster clock and slow clock and, and keys because again, it's gonna be useless education because in the future when we're gonna ride a horse, we want to horse understand. Horse have consistency, but they're saying their brain with this uh, voice. So when I'm gonna use the flag, she have to maintain the speed and travel consistently around me. That's what I wanna see, nice and relaxed. Very good, baby, change direction. That's again right now, turn inside from the round pen and in hand communication. And practice changing direction. We're not concentrating in this corner, we're concentrating and changing directions. Anytime, wherever I go, you have to change direction with me. And I'm gonna say, okay, let's go, come closer a little bit to this, to this corner and see if we can handle that. So it's not just because I pull on her rope and she learned how to change direction. So you can watch previous videos of her education and uh, on her page, on my website, and you can truly understand what I'm talking about. Or go to my vlog, also in my uh, foundation vlog, in my uh, website and watch videos. It's a free videos, so, and you can understand uh, kind of my philosophy in my brain a little bit, what I'm trying to explain. Very nice. So all this, I want to have confidence. I don't want horse speed up and run because I apply, apply the flag. And I want a horse truly understand my body language when I change in direction. That's very important also. Just gonna spend time. Then again, stop my horse right here, stay still and give her relaxation. Very nice, baby, very good. That's what I wanna see. Very good job, baby. Very nice. And if, like I explained before, she's very sensitive horse. If we're gonna apply pressure on her, she will, again, I explained in the previous videos, she will never handle that. It's gonna be just nightmare. She will pull, run away. Our goal actually with her to develop this confidence, develop this confidence with our communication, not with pressure and release. Again, with our energy. Continue travel, very good, beautiful. Very nice, baby. And now pick up the speed. Very nice, beautiful. Let her travel, couple evolution. And now we're gonna start to apply the flag. And she have to be very confident. Nice and relaxed. Beautiful. And again, change right here. Point. Continue travel here. So that's my goal. Have this confidence. And she's a young horse. You can practice all this like we go, I gonna actually practice because she gonna be offered in November for sale. So she gonna, this month, uh, I mean, not this month, in, uh, in, in uh, June, we're gonna start to riding her. So she gonna have six months of riding and she gonna have, in a week, we're gonna ride her four times, probably 10, 20 minutes max a day and then she's gonna have come, she going back to foundation education again to get this better and better. And after in the, in the fall, for three months, we're gonna do all this foundation in the trails, under saddle and in the ground, develop this confidence in everything. So that's our goal, beautiful, right here. So we're improving and improving and improving I have a plan of education, goals, 
and we improving and improving. So now we're going to change direction. Whatever I go, she has to change direction. Again, let's turn inside from the round pen, let's turn inside, changing direction from in hand communication. A lot of time when horses change in direction, they look from the opposite eye and something flying, or it's a loud movement. Horses. We're not saying, saying loud movements because it is very, very loud with uh, this kind of fabric, plastic fabric, and it's very, very big movement. So I call this loud movements. So when horses see this with, uh, with opposite side, then they right away start, they're starting jump sideways and it's dangerous. When we're riding and horses see something on the opposite side, then horses going sideways, and that's very dangerous. So that's exercise that I teach. <clears throat> One of these exercises I teach to travel and change direction. And again, you have to give opportunity in time when horses change in direction. Do not start to um, like I better say, I'm not applying a lot of pressure when they're changing direction, but I'm not concentrating on, on this rollback. I'm concentrating how confident horse, how relaxed horse, how soft movement and deliberate, how horse losing, uh, using physics, muscle, legs. That's I want to develop, not just to have the speed and change in direction. And it's going to look like a rollback. So I ask you to trot. So what, and I'm going to use my flag. So wherever I go, she have to go with me. When I change direction, she have to travel with me and control this emotions. Right here, beautiful. Very nice. And again, change direction. Very good. Nice and relax. That's what he wants to see. Change direction. Very good, baby. So whole idea about this exercise, final goal. So when horse see from opposite side of their brain and change in direction, so horse not, not speed up and not getting nervous and upset. Very good. Beautiful. Very, very happy to see that. And it takes time. Just be consistent and everything's gonna be all right. Very nice. Beautiful. So we're gonna ask her right now for a low, and she have to still keep this forward motion and control the motion, the lope with, with flat. Beautiful. And not speed up. Beautiful. And again, change direction. Very good. And again. And continue low. Beautiful. And stop right here. Very good, baby. Very nice. I'm proud of you. You've done very good. So Horse have to control emotion and the walk, trot, and lop, and, and stay mentally very, very confident and not run away and not speed up and change in direction, etc. So now we're gonna go to exercises and stay still with flag, and I'm gonna share a little bit with you my kind of ideas, why I teach this way and everything. So first of all, horse have to stay still. So now I wanna, from the ground, that's very important, from the ground to the horse, not just keep in the, in the air and after touch. Why from the ground to the horse? Scary object coming from the ground towards you. That's my philosophy, that's my idea. 
scary object coming from the ground towards you. Remember this tarp? You travel and travel and see tarp sideways. So that's a basics. That's a foundation, a foundation education. So first of all, that's a neck. Afterwards, shoulder. After it's a rib cage. After it's a hind horse. And again, we, we done this in ramp, and if you remember this, without the hull. I'm gonna walk towards my horse with the flag, and horse have to stay still and accept me when I <coughs> walk towards the horse. I don't have to hide my eyes, change direction, left and right direction. Horse just have to stay still and be nice and relaxed. Beautiful work, Eve. And transfer here. That's why I call this car philosophy belgian round pin. So horse truly have to understand. And you can take your hand all the way back. So this object truly flying towards the horse. And I say, very good. That's what I want to see. And again here, neck, shoulder, rib cage, hind course. Neck, shoulder, rib cage, hind course. So when horse done like this very well on the sides, then we're gonna do legs, exactly the same. And that's extending touch, if you remember, from the round pen in front of the horse and behind the horse. On this side again, extending touch and horse have to stay still. Beautiful work. I'm very pleased with you, with your education. Very good, baby. You're doing amazing, amazing work. I'm very proud of Journey you. Journey to get to this point, and she still, she accepts extending touch, front legs, but she's still telling me with her tail, with her body language, she's not 100%, 100% confident, hind legs. So when I gonna see, pay attention in the ears right now, ears go sideways, so it's, she telling me, yes, I can stay for you. I can, I, can, I can stay with you and I can accept this, but I still need from you a lot of, a lot of work so you can communicate with me. Yes, baby, you did a very good job. Beautiful. And stay still and in a forward motion. And horse staying still, nice and relaxed. When horse done like that, then we're going to this side, exactly the same. Leg, front leg, back leg. Back leg, front leg, front leg, back leg. Beautiful. So now, um, we're gonna mount the horse. We're gonna touch our horse with blanket. We're gonna saddle the horse the first time. That's preparation for a saddle. We're gonna have our legs on top of the horse. We're gonna tap with our legs. We're gonna do crazy loud movements on top of the horse. Okay, we're gonna talk to, um, on top of the horse. We're gonna swing our hands, our legs, move. Do crazy things. So we have to prepare everything, whatever touching, even like this with your hand. Your muscles have to be very, very confident and very relaxed. Skin. Not twitch, not twitch, nice and relaxed. So horse have to be very, very confident with that when you're touching horse, okay? And exactly the same you can apply on this side. When you're touching your horse, horse have to be very, very confident, just like that. Just rubbing, because that's what's gonna be your hands, that's gonna be your legs, that's gonna be your saddle pad, that's gonna be your tarp, that's gonna be your brush. That's gonna be a uh, blanket for a winter or for a summer. So now when we've done this, we're gonna do exactly the same with flag. When horse stands still, we're gonna use flag around the horse body and horse have to be confident and stay still and not run away from us and control emotion with this flag. Very nice. So when we've done this on this side, we're gonna do absolutely on this side, exactly the same. So horse have to control emotion and stay still when we're using this flat. Neck right here. Horse have to be confident. Beautiful. And again, go to this side.
beautiful right here very nice and go to this side and uh, if she just turned two years old so for young horses it takes time to teach so it's not um, it's going to be better every every day better and better and better beautiful and i spend a lot of time to do this through the process whole year i continue practicing of their education like i said riding foundation riding foundation riding foundation back and forth back and forth till they get very very confident 100 percent